Hey guys, hey Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines and Karmics and everyone in between. So we're back with another video for the Divine Masculines current energy and the Karmic Partners current energy as they are together or a whole or what you know that the situation may be for your specific situation. Guys, remember it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Please take what applies and what doesn't leave behind. Guys, um, if you want a personal reading with me, my email is below. You just email me and we'll get going, okay? That's how we book readings as of now. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know if it resonates or how you feel about the video. So we're starting off with the Divine Masculine's energy and it's beautiful already because his first card is the High Priestess. Woo -woo. So Divine Feminines, for sure you're on his mind. I think a lot of us know that. I think a lot of us know that we've been on his mind really day in and day out. It's just what he does to or what he doesn't do to try to achieve, uh, try to, you know, be with us. But, okay, so it's clear that we're on his mind. But it also looks to me with what I'm looking at for the rest of his spread um, and the karmics is that he looks like he's shoving his power in the karmic space and others that are around them, her family and her friends, okay? Um, it looks like he's shoving his power or what he has or what he could have, okay? What's destined for him in, his, in her face because he's weak, we saw that in previous um, readings that it looks like they're just, you know, they're just um, business partners, okay? Um, there's no love here, though he does admire her very much for her beauty and all that she can bring to the table, especially for things that he may admire. Your divine masculine may be a feminist. He appreciates beautiful women, and so she does embody that, the karmic. But nonetheless, um, it's, it's, it hasn't been working out. It's been rocky. It's been, it's been turmoil between them, okay? So there's an often competition between them, and it's really just business. It's really just money. It's really just finances. A lot of us divine feminines ask, well, well, well why can't he be with me because at this point I'm I'm rich and wealthy I doubt she does more than me vice versa you know but again it is a karmic situation and there's different things there's aspects that are in that uh, relationship that we don't know about okay um, specifically so he does come in like yo you know I, I know the high priestess the high priestess who is destined for me who are you she goes I'm the empress you know so there's no comparison we know that he also comes in with the two of cups cancer Pisces Scorpio energy so again he feels the love that the divine feminine is um, uh, bestowing upon him whether you guys are sending love and light at the end of the day there is a natural force here of patience that we give to him of patience love and kindness a gentleness an angel within us that even though we're working hard divine feminines and we're slaving and we feel mean and nasty okay um just not in our perfect element yeah not um not having this pure love within us though he does still feel that it is a destined thing to be so he feels he knows who we are even if we're not embodying this person the high priestess 100 percent. he knows at least now that he has this sort of power on his side you the divine feminine so to go from the high priestess to the two of cups it's not something that he's gonna rush into it's not something that he's gonna be like oh my god whoa and then just jump into it. it's the unknown it's pretty intense to be a counterpart for the high priestess first of all the higher font is not here so right now he's just embodying you he's he's showing you off he's um a little bit negative about it but he does know at least he knows who you are what you can do for him and why he's been feeling this love for you and not able to let go he understands when he thinks of you what you look like now all right and so because the two of cups is here he's looking to start it off um realistically okay he's not going to just be like oh yeah ten of cups you know because that that would be wishful thinking we don't want that um, so he starts off with the two of cups in his mind. Okay. Then we have the six of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So he could be showing off, you know, um, competing his karma. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or a cancer Pisces or Scorpio, but he feels empowered in front of all of these people, the karmic and all of the friends and family that have been around him, suppressing his emotions, suppressing his feelings and keeping him back from change because they're all the people around him telling him he's crazy to leave what he's in. And it, and it, and it brain, um, it brain F's him, you know? Okay. So right now, the fact that we're coming in super strong, he's using us as his his peak, as his happiness, okay? It's not the Six of Cups where we're visiting the past and it was old, it was charm. This is today. This is what he knows today, okay? Who you are, and he's using it to get through his battles. We have a Scorpio card here, the Death card, 
Okay, so he's undergoing change and he likes it. We have the King of Swords here, the Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius card. So he's very straightforward about everything that he's learning. He's very straightforward about everything he knows, everything he wants, and to all the people he's going to show, whether you're with me or you're not. Okay, so he's kind of shoving it in people's face, the power that he has. Okay, but not all on his own. The divine is guiding him. The high priestess, the divine feminine is his, is his help, okay? Is his push as he's going, moving forward on these horses. King of Swords, okay? So he's being very, very blunt and honest. And that is forcing the tower moment in his relationship and in his life, though he is not scared. He's jumping out, head first, arm strong, okay? He's, he's out of there. Overall energy for him is the Knight of Pentacles. So he's going to offer somewhere else. He's not scared about losing any money if he has to just take one opportunity with him, one coin, one bag of, you know, bag of change. He knows that he is going to be covered and he is not scared. This is something that is going to happen. I really feel it doesn't happen yet. If it has, congratulations. Your Divine Masculine is another step closer to finishing and completing his cycle. And then being with his loved one, the divine feminine, all right? So, but he is using you, and I don't want to say leverage, but leverage is coming up. He wants to use the love that he knows that he that is for him out um, to get him out. It's his key, okay? And that's almost what's supposed to happen. So it's happening. We're going to see how it unfolds in another energy, in another day, how he takes, how he uses this power and this love that we have for him the divine has given to him, okay, what he's going to do with that. So we see change, he's moving forward, and he's acceptable to change. He doesn't mind, he's not scared, okay, he's being very straightforward about it, okay. Businessman-like, okay, he's going to move on, he's going to be able to make money on his own, and he knows this, okay, his overall energy, he's going to be able to offer somewhere else. He does not mind what, oh, look, perfect, he does not mind, okay, losing a little bit, offering from the whole pile of money the whole pile of dust really and worries and taking his money and offering it somewhere else okay no more crying at night for him he's planning on his way out okay but again this is something that has not happened and i feel that very strongly but right now he has a pep in his step and you can say you're welcome divine feminine you can okay The karmic partner starts off with a Knight of Cups, uh, excuse me, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, offering love, offering balance, okay, um, and a little bit of sex. Maybe some of them have not been having sex with their karmic partner. I'm sorry, I don't really speak like that, but that's what I get, okay, offering what she can, but in a soft manner, okay, she's always been the big boy, the king, the queen, Okay, portraying many adult roles and she's coming in as a kid. So she's like, baby, you know, and so um, trying not to speak too firm, too deep, too hard. Okay, because he's he's kind of like not to be messed with right now. Okay, he's got a lot of power and a lot of love on his side. So she understands that. So she's coming in kind of coy, kind of soft. I'm a kid. I'm a baby. You can't deny my love. Okay, I know you have love from the high priestess and whatnot, and you're already looking at reality and making plans and moving on in, in, a, in a adulthood. All right, so this is the way that she needs to come in, nice and soft. It's something, may not even be full, because she doesn't want to push her buttons. The world card here, major arcana of completing cycles, so she feels, so she is, okay? You know, they are completing cycles. It is a karmic loop. So while he's up here, she's down here, vice versa, they're going to keep going. So I do believe that um, her divine and her spiritual guides are telling her that this is what to do. I'm not reading into the karmic any more than that right now for this general reading, but she is going to be completing cycles in, in herself, okay? So if this is turned down, what next, okay? And so on and so forth. She comes in as her own, re in her own reading, okay, with the queen of wands, so... This is, she's not embodying like a king of cups, a knight of cups. She's in her own element here. Social butterfly. She wants to be social. She wants to be kind. She wants to be sweet. Though she knows that something is going on. She's aware. And we're going to see how she's going to plan if she plans, okay, to do anything. Because before she turns a little evil, right, she's completing cycles. So for her, maybe this is like, oh, you know, being able to see once again that her love is not going to be accepted, 
okay but come in come in small don't give everything before you burn out like how it happened in the beginning maybe he was always stepping out on her and so she began this whole loop and cycle of keep trying to give him give him so she's starting from the beginning once again and she's starting small that's good all right but she does have something up her sleeve unfortunately the star card so something between what she's doing what she's thinking okay is going to be a wish fulfillment for her so there's that so there's something that happened between her tricks up her sleeve that something worked okay so she's able to twist and bend and loop and hole through the divine masculine as she knows him well and something worked out for her in her favor that is right below the divine masculine's death card so we'll see Completing cycles for her, she started off small, may not be that big, may not have a delay, much of a delay. It's all going to ultimate in the tower card. Right after that, she feels a victim with the eight of swords, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, not being able to see. She says, her eyes are wide open, dude. All of these cards, eyes are wide open, I'm focused on exactly what the card represents. Their eyes are open. So whatever she did didn't work out got her feeling back trapped and he is right above her with the king of swords and gemini libra and aquarius energy so he saw whatever went down okay all right she, he's not he's not he's not shy of what she's capable of because even as she represents this king this queen of wands he's on top of her with the six of wands so like yeah and what yeah yeah like, you know what I'm saying? To the family, to the friends that are around her, to her. So she's like, ooh, let me step tall. You know what I'm saying? He's not falling for it. Okay, he knows where love lies. He, know what real, he knows what this love looks like. He knows what just and righteousness looks like. You understand? Okay, so then she ends with the nine of wands, feeling defeated. Okay, right above is the, his tower moment. So she's cooking up, she's doing a lot of things, but you would be pleased to know, Divine Feminines, that it isn't going to work, okay? And don't say that it works because he's still there. There's a lot of things at play. A lot of them have kids. A lot of them are married. You have to. I actually am very pleased with the fact that most Divine Masculines are leaving in strategic ways. They don't want to leave in disharmony. They've had enough of that. It's part of learning. It's part of growing. You don't leave one situation to create another and jump into a new you have to hash out all of that and finish cycles, finish cycles, finish cycles. So there's a lot of that going on in this. And I feel like there's a lot going on. I feel like they're really moving. They're really, you know, they're chop, chop, chopping. And she's chop, chop, chopping because she has no choice to chop, chop, chop. Okay? No choice. The only movement I see with her is this one, and it's hesitant to even give this cup of love. Okay? While it's beneath the high priestess so the divine feminine again you may not even be sending love and light and it's like because it's destined because it's a twin flame journey and path a lot of the things are done for you okay so you can rest assured knowing that but it's good to keep sending light and love to someone that you do care about to someone who meant something to you at least in a part of time okay there's a lot of things going on here a lot okay and um overall the magician is here, so everyone is prepared. Everyone is getting prepared for something big, for something major. Okay, I opened up to this. So he's working on becoming the king of cups, and she's working on becoming a queen of pentacles. So this is their paths, and this is where they are going. Okay, do you understand? So the karmic partner coming in with the knight of cups and then completing a cycle, there's a lot in between that, but that is going to be still her karmic loop. That's how I'm going to read that world card, because this is who she's to become, and this is who he is to become. Okay, they both need to get prepared, and as they are doing that now, I can feel it in all of the energies, okay? I can feel that now in all of the energy, okay? She's going to be destined to walk away from this love. He's going to be planning for new, okay, and speaking his peace, looking for the passion, okay? And sneaking away, getting away from anything that's going to, you know, keep, you know, he may not jump right into being committal, but this is a big step, guys. So if you want to know more about the Divine Masculine and the Karmic's current energy, guys, if you want to unfold this reading, please email me below. Thanks, guys. Bye.